How to fill it and cook a mackerel in real time. And as you can see, I've got this magnificent looking beast. This really is a cracking fish. You know, it's cheap as chips. You know, you get your turbot, your halibut, your sea bass. Like I've said before in my other videos, you know, they are top 10 fish, but this should be one. This to me is the king of the fish. You know, full of omega-3, really good for you. And pan fried, crisped up that skin, it takes some beating. So what I'm gonna show you to do, I'm gonna take the fillets off, we're going to pan fry it and I'm going to serve it with an absolutely fantastic pickled beetroot salad. So what we'll do then, I'll bring the camera in and I'll show you how to fill it in. Right, first of all, let's get rid of that. Now what you do for these, it's so easy to do. There's nothing to worry about. It's simple. You see that fin there? Just in and round to the head. One cut. I haven't gone through the backbone yet. I'll show you why. Same with that one, to there. And if you look in the top there, I've joined them. And if you just snap, and then pull, you get most of the guts out, and the head, in one go. Cracking little trick. So next what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these fillets off. Which couldn't be easier. With my knife, my lovely favorite knife. If you can see the backbone there, I'm pointing to it. All you're going to do, make one incision, like that, and you can see there is no pressure on my knife here. I'm going to show you, just gently, as you can see, and there you have one perfect fillet. Same with the other side, so if we can find that backbone in, as you can see, no pressure, I'll prove it, just hold on. you're left with those. I mean this is, in the scheme of things, a really big mackerel and it's going to be fantastic. I've made a great beetroot salad. I mean traditionally in England uh, mackerel in the winter it's set with a rhubarb sauce and a bit later on in the year when the gooseberries are out a gooseberry sauce and the reason for that is you need that sweet tartness because it's just quite an oily fish you know, which is not a bad thing because they're good oils, really good for you. You know, it just cuts through that fattiness. But this is stunning. I mean, just look at the size of those fillets. They've come through winter, you know, they're in tip top condition. And there's our two lovely little fillets. I think you'll admit they look stunning, don't they? Nice and fresh. But we haven't finished yet. Obviously, We've got these backbones down this lateral line. So what we do with the knife, we make one V-cut one side, and then another the other side. And basically, they all come out in one. That is a completely bonus fillet. So I'll show you again. See if I can bring the camera in. Okay, so one, you can see the angle of the knife, like that. So you're not going all the way through to the skin, you're just going through to the skin, not through it. And there they are, another bonus fillet. Absolutely amazing. Right, I'll show you how to cook them. So, I've got my pan on preheating. What I'm gonna do, because these are lovely big fillets, and for presentation at the end, I'm just gonna cut them in half. I mean look at that, the thickness of that, that's totally boneless. Do the same with this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the oil on the fish. Now this is one of those ones where, you know, you put it in the pan and you've got to leave it alone. You don't fettle with it, you don't mess about with it, because that's the trick with this. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on, on the skin side, because these will be three quarters cooked on the skin and you'll turn it over for that last couple of minutes to cook it through so rub the olive oil in and what we do next season them up some pepper 
and I've got some sea salt. I mean, I'm doing some fish today, you know, it's nearly the end of the game season. I've just uh, prepared 10 pheasants and a duck. I've got more coming tonight, you know. I like to cook seasonal, so I don't want to, you know, moan about it, but I've had a cracking game season. I've had so much game. I've been very lucky, but I just needed something different. I thought this would hit the spot. So there's my pan. It's just starting to shimmer. Now, please don't leave any comments about the uh, non-stick pan overheat. There is nothing to worry about. I'm just going to put only a little spot in. What we do, lay our fillets in. Put one there, and they're so fresh, the first thing they do is they bunch up. So, a little bit of pressure, so they get full contact, just like that, and you can let it go. So I'm going to put that one there, same again. I mean, that's how you can tell your fish is really fresh. That one there, just watch this straight up. A little bit of pressure, it will sit nicely, and that one in there. Now, now they're all totally cooking. Now I can take a little bit of heat out of the pan. We'll give those about three or four minutes. Like I said. Can be tempted to check on them, just leave them, use the fork. And while they're cooking, I just want to show you this fantastic beetroot salad. I pickled this beetroot myself. Stunning. Now all I've done is I've got two beetroots, laid some salt on an oven proof tray, and I bake these in the oven for about an hour. You can boil them if you find that easy, but I reckon roast ones, they taste a bit better. And what I did, I got 125 ml of uh, white wine vinegar, and I used 125 ml of damson jam, sticking with that theme of sweet and tart, and I reduced that down to almost a glaze, and I added a teaspoon of mustard, strained it on top of these, and I just put it in the fridge to chill. Look at the stunning colors. Mm. Anyhow, check on this fish. So right, I'm just going to show you for the camera what I mean. That, can you see that? Can I get it on camera? Where are we? Sorry. Nice, crisp skin. And you can see it's mostly cooked up through. So we'll give it another minute and we'll turn that over. Right, let's turn these juices. That last minute. Oh, it smells amazing. You can't beat this. No, you can't beat it. Nice crispy and caramelised that. I call it fish pork scratching. Just awesome. Awesome. So like I said, cook the majority inside down to finish in its left side now. I'm actually going to turn the heat off now and that will finish cooking in the residual heat. All right, don't find me a plate. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to put one like that. One like that. One like that. And that beauty. I'm going to stick it there like that. You have to excuse the presentation. That's the lovely mackerel. Now what we're going to do, some of this lovely, and it really is amazing. Pickled beetroot and damson. That took four minutes if that. I'm going to give it a bit of olive oil. There you have it. Pan fried mackerel fillet. Pickled beetroot. What a stunning plate of food, eh? Let's have a look at this mackerel. 
as you can see it's not overcooked still moist that'll be tender oh but that beetroot match made in heaven oh excuse me a minute you know it's amazing let me just show that fish again flakes look that lovely skin oh excuse my fingers I'm gonna finish this off I did a video on mackerel a year ago and YouTube took the audio off so I thought I'd have to do it again but this knocks spots off the original give it a go I'm gonna finish this up I'll see you again many thanks those shall have a fishy on a little dishy those who love a fishy when the boat comes in